Today's video is going to be my unboxing slash review of my June Ipsy Glam Bag. To be honest, I didn't even have this on my filming schedule because this month has just gone by so fast that I completely forgot, like, wow, there's going to be an Ipsy bag coming in the middle of this month. So um, I decided to just go ahead and film it today for you guys and show you the stuff that I got, so we're just going to get right on into it. So first we have the little card, and this month's theme is Swim Into Beauty. It says, salt in the air, sand in our hair. Cue the lifeguards because summer will be five times the fun when you dive into these beauty must-haves for June. And then this is a picture of Crispy, I believe, on the front of mine. I know that everybody kind of gets a different card because they have like different people on the front of it, but that's who's on mine. And then let's get on to the bag. This is what the bag looks like this month. This is an actual, like, this is actually printed with Ipsy stuff. It's not just like you know, the zipper thing that's from Ipsy or whatever. Um, so it says Ipsy on the front of it, and it's got, like, the squishy material in the back, and then it feels, like, water-resistant, kind of like a raincoat. Not kind of like you can... It's not, like, waterproof, like you can't submerge it underwater or something like that, but um, it's just got that feel to it, which I think is kind of part of the, you know, swim into beauty theme. So I'm going to get right on in here and show you guys the stuff that I got. The first thing that I got is this Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub. And it is cruelty-free, paraben-free, and 100% vegan, so it's like an all-natural kind of thing. And basically, this is just, I mean, all microdermabrasion scrubs pretty much work the same. You get your face a little bit wet, you rub it on for like a minute, and then you take it off with water. This one it smells so yummy. It smells like, it smells like something from Bath & Body Works, something like orange-scented or something like that. It's very citrusy. I like it a lot. I used this this morning. I love microdermabrasion scrubs because the stuff that scrubs your face, like the little scrubbing particles, whatever they happen to use in the particular one, are so fine because, you know, microdermabrasion? You got me? But they're so fine that I feel like it really, really gets into all the places on your skin. There's so many of them. It's not like some scrubs where it's a little coarser and there might not be as much, so like you have to kind of work it in one spot and then like push it over to another spot to kind of scrub that. It's like all over in this thing, so I loved this one. I tried it this morning and it was just, I felt like it smoothed out my face a lot, got rid of dead skin, especially right now. I got a little bit too tan the other day when I sat out tanning, so um, I am peeling just a little bit like on my shoulders and a little bit on the uh, bridge of my nose and stuff like that. So I used this this morning and I feel like it really helped me kind of get rid of that skin. So I feel like my foundation went on a lot smoother today, stuff like that. So definitely love this one. and probably actually might repurchase this one. <laughs> the second thing I got that was kind of skincare related is the Be Fine Food Skincare Cucumber Facial Mask with cucumber. Why the heck would you call it a cucumber facial mask if there was no cucumber? Anyway, it is an effective treatment to rinse away skin problems and leave the skin clean and refreshed, enhanced with the cool clean scent of a ripe cucumber. This definitely does smell like a cucumber, like pretty much exactly. This was really nice, I thought. I used, basically this morning, I wanted to try out all the products that I got in my bag because it came last night in the mail. And so I kind of wanted to try everything out today. So I used the scrub first. And then after that, I decided to just go ahead and try this out. So it says to kind of lightly dampen your face with warm water and then apply a thin layer of the mask and leave on for five minutes, which is actually really uncommon. A lot of them stay on for like between 10 and 20. Usually I cut them off around the 15 mark. And, um, but this one's only a five minute one, so it's kind of a nice thing if you're on the go, you don't have a whole lot of time for like a full face mask. This one is really nice. And I thought it did okay. I mean, I didn't think it did any fabulous thing to my skin, but it was really refreshing. It was just kind of a nice thing, especially since it's summertime and stuff like that. And since we're probably going to be out in the sun, you know, if you have a sunburn or something, I feel like this would feel really nice on your face because it's kind of cooling. It's got that cucumber quality in it that's just really nice for that kind of thing. So um, I thought this was good. It wasn't like, wow, you have to try it. But if you happen to get this one or you want to try it out, it's definitely, I think it's a good product. The last thing in there that was kind of like a face product is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the oil-free stuff. This is like the clear one. I know Smashbox has a few different um, primers, but this is like the original photo finish one that's like all clear. To be honest, I've tried this before and I was not a huge fan of it. It's a little too silicone based. I feel like my face is slick afterwards. I know it's oil free and everything like that, but because my skin is already oily, I feel like when I put this on, my foundation just kind of slicks off my face. And maybe that's just me, maybe it's just me being weird, but um, comment down below and let me know if you guys feel the same way about this, because uh, I'm dropping everything. Because I know a lot of people have tried this, so if you have the same opinion that I do, be sure to comment down below. If you have a different way of using it that's like really wow and fabulous, be sure to leave that in a comment down below as well. Okie doke, so my camera battery just died, so I had to go change the battery really fast and put the other one on to charge. 
The next thing that was in here, <laughs> this confused me so much because the tip of it looks like a normal like eyeshadow pencil and I was like, oh my god, the cap fell off and I was afraid that it was going to be like all over the inside of the bag, but then I realized that is the cap and it's just made to look like that. And the funny thing is the product inside doesn't even look like that. This is a Tristique. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know if the stuff is worn off or if they just have a really weird like font that they use, but Tristique, I believe. This is a mini shadow crayon in Marimoto Pink Pearl. This is a really pretty nude eyeshadow stick. I just used it all over my lid today. I know you guys probably can't really see it because that's kind of the point. It's supposed to be something really easy that you don't see too much of, but it's just a little bit of nude shimmer for your eyes. In the summertime, I think that's really great. That's kind of the type of shadow that I reach for is something that's just, you know, really basic kind of skin tone stuff with a little bit of sparkle in it. So this is a great one. I don't know if it's waterproof, if that's supposed to be kind of like the theme of this one, but, um, you know, I think it's still a good shadow either way. <laughs> I thought I would show you guys. This is what it looks like up close. It's just kind of like a little twisty pencil and that was really confusing to me like I said because the cap looks like a normal crayon kind of thing but um, this is a nice color like I said it's just a wash of shimmer for your eyes. Definitely a cute color for the summertime and I think I will like this one. So the very last thing in my bag is this J-Cat Beauty Liptitude 24-7 Hydrating Lip Stain. That's a lot of words. Why can't people just be like, lip stain? But no, it has to have like a thousand and five words. The color, when I first saw it, I was not expecting to like the color of this because it looks fairly dark in the tube, but when you put it on your lips, it comes off as a nice, like, bright, summery pink color, which would be great. I thought about wearing it today, but then it didn't end up going with the rest of the stuff that I did, but it's really pretty, and honestly, I wasn't expecting to like this brand. I did receive a lip stain or some kind of cream in, a, in an Ipsy bag, I think, in, like, February. I received one of these not from this company, I don't think, not this type, but it was a similar color and a similar type of product that I absolutely hated. Like, I did not like it whatsoever. But then, after trying this one, I think that maybe it was just because my expectations were low, but I was really impressed. Basically, what I did with this is I put it all over my lips in the shape that I want, and then because it's a lip stain, it doesn't need to, like, sit there wet or anything like that. So what I did was just as soon as I got it where I wanted it, I blotted three times on a tissue and that really helped to kind of preserve the color. It took away all the excess product so I didn't get it like all over my face when I smacked my lips but um, I was actually really impressed with this and it smells so yummy. Ugh. It just smells like mint which is one of my favorite scents as far as like anything makeup products. I love the smell of like minty lip products. I think it's so great. Definitely not lying when they said it was hydrating. It felt super nice and creamy on my lips and then when I blotted it off, it just felt like my nice hydrated lips. Now, something that you could do with this also is like, what I do is I will put like Vaseline or some kind of chapstick something on my lips while I'm getting ready and then when I get to the end of my face and I'm ready to put on my lip stuff, I will just kind of blot that off and then put this on. It makes a really nice application, it goes on very smoothly, but then your lips are also very conditioned and moisturized and this kind of helps with the moisturization as well. So I was actually really impressed with this one. It's not like my typical thing, but I like it a lot. Personally, if I were to buy a color of this, I might not pick this specific one. Um, this is in the shade... I can't find a shade, but I will try to have it listed down below because usually they have it on the Ipsy website. So I will try to list the color down below. But um, I, yeah, I was actually impressed with this one, so I might try it out in a different color if they're not too expensive. So guys, that is it for my June Ipsy Glam bag. That's everything that was in there. If you subscribe to Ipsy, as always, be sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you got, what you liked, and what you didn't like, stuff like that. And if you don't get Ipsy, if you have any of these products or any other ones that you've been loving for summertime, be sure to leave that in a comment down below as well. If you don't already subscribe to Ipsy and you would like to, be sure to click my custom link down below so we can both get rewards for signing you up like that. And if you're interested in seeing some of my other Ipsy bag videos, kind of considering if you want to try it out or not. All the links for those will be down in the down bar as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Also, Peach Bellini candle back there. I'm still obsessed. I think it might be time to start breaking out like the summery scents as well. Like spring and summer scents kind of blend into each other but I feel like there's a little bit of a difference. And so I feel like maybe I should start pulling out my summer scents. I'm actually so disappointed though because 
like I live in the Midwest and it's been really rainy lately and so probably in all the amount of time that everyone's been having like spring and summer weather we've had five sunny days and that is like super disappointing because I was looking forward to having some kind of natural light and trying out some new filming spaces and stuff like that um, because it is a real hassle to like pick up all my studio lights and move them places when I want to film because I don't want to have them out in the room like the whole entire time when I'm not filming so I don't know, I was just really hoping to have some natural light and we haven't had any, like, I have the window open right now but you probably can't tell because I have my studio lights up and like, it's cloudy out. Again. 